at 10, hundreds of people arrested in those ICE raids are getting their day in court. Undocumented workers at the Thad Cochran Federal Courthouse in downtown Jackson hoped a judge would grant them bond. Alex Love joins us in the studio with the details. Alex, tell us what you found out. That's right, Melanie. Both sides looked at whether the defendants pose any threat to the public, how and why they came into the country illegally, and if they have children at home in need of their parents. Welcome home, darling, because we miss you. Some cheerful remarks from Lee Curtis Keys minutes after learning his wife and the mother of his kids was being released. The things that we've been going through has been very hard, especially for my kids, because they've been missing their mom. And to hear them say that she can get released has been spectacular. Really tough for me because she was not there to wake me up, and my dad was, and I, every night I was... Um, praying. And now finally after we pray she gets to come again. Lee's wife Maria Keys illegally re-entered the U.S. using a false name 15 years ago but has since started a family and her loved ones an attorney claim she's no danger. She come over here to get a better life and when she found me that's what she got. She got married to me and uh, she had two beautiful daughters right here. It feels good and I'm happy. How did you feel when you heard she's getting released? I was excited. I was going to burst into tears. Her bond was set at $25,000 on top of following conditions by the courts, a probation her husband also took on to help her through risking his money and freedom. I love her. She's my wife. And I think when God put two people together, then let no man take them apart. She just has to follow the conditions of the bond, and as long as she shows up for court when she's supposed to, um, then that money will never be paid. But if she doesn't show up, then yes, she would owe the government $25,000. Other families like the Garcias didn't get the answers they wanted, leaving them to wait for a future court date to plea for their loved one's release. Pues ahorita la gente se siente desesperado. See, they, they grab them working, not stealing, killing, and anything. One thing about it is that they rather staying in, in right, you know, than in wrong, you know, but they were just working. They're just trying to make a living. During their hearings, the prosecution brought evidence showing undocumented workers not released had bought fake or even stolen driver's license and social security cards in order to work and get a job. Hearings are expected to continue next week.